the where we're going we don't need roads trophy in grand theft auto 3 on the ps4 is bullshit because of just what you actually have to do and how awkward and fucked up the controls for these missions are so the where we're going trophy requires you to complete patriot playground a ride in the park multi-story mayhem and the gripped missions now these missions are sort of secret hidden ones that you find when you enter certain parked vehicles the worst one is the patriot playground mission that happens on the first island and it can be found by the supermarket near to where the mafia live on the hill so when you get into the patriot the mission begins and you get a short cutscene explaining what you need to do you have five minutes to collect 15 checkpoints and you can collect these in any order when you pass through the first checkpoint it starts the timer and each checkpoint will credit you with an extra 20 seconds so you've got to be fast in order to get enough time to actually grab them all so here we go the mission starts and then this is your first bit of bullshit because you're going to be replaying this mission again and again so the first problem i have is that you have to then drive to the fucking area it doesn't just spawn you by them i mean why couldn't the patriot be parked where the the actual beacon things are the checkpoints why do i have to then drive from the supermarket all the way around st mark's to the first one in portland view <clears throat> they're also really fucking awkward as you can see and this car just really isn't built for these awkward hill climbs so i push forward and i try and slowly get up that hill in order to grab this first awkward one under this train track so then I get it, and now I've got another 20-ish seconds to get to the next one. And it's here where things just go awkward. Because the fucking controls are just so shite. In fact, no, it's not the controls, it's just the vehicle handling itself. So we drive along, picking up as many as we can, as fast as we can, in order to build up enough time in the kitty so that we can go further along this mountainside and get the ones that are further away. I eventually make it up to the top, the mountain getting the fourth one out of 15 and it's here where things begin to get a bit more awkward as the positions of each one mean yeah, you risk a disaster like this one right here where is it I showed supposedly right on top of it oh that's right it's off the edge of the fucking cliff so I drive down and luckily I fall and don't topple over so I can continue on trying to get the rest of them this one here is right by the sea, and if you're not careful, you'll end up falling into the water, and then you'll get an instant game over. So we progress a bit more, and here's another awkward one, on the edge of this fucking corner. So I get it, but then disaster strikes, and I end up flipping the car. So I've now failed this fucking mission, because I've got no way of getting the car up, and it's going to blow up now. And as soon as you get out of the vehicle, you instantly fail. So then, another bullshit bit is when you do fail, you have to drive all the way back to the mission car, hoping that it's respawned. Now this is a problem with all the GTA missions in this game, because there's no like quick restart option, but it does great on this one, because like I say, you'll be dying a lot. So I get back in, and we begin the mission again. I managed to get that first one under that train track quite easily this time, and I get the ones by the beach, and it's not long before I'm up onto the mountain again I then get to that one where it's a big drop so I need to be careful okay let's do this what the f fuck fuck you now man oh shit no 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 oh, at least I've got it but fuck me what am I supposed to do there Oh shit, stop, 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 please fucking stop rolling. No, oh, fuck. Oh, for fuck's sake, right in the fucking water. Fucking hell. Mission failed. I had no way of stopping that car from rolling all the way into the water. That's just bullshit. They knew what they were doing when they placed that one there. Fuck's sake. So again, we get back in that car and trigger the mission another time. Okay, let's do this. 
So I come at the first one a different way this time, thinking this will be an easier way to get it. I do get it okay, and then I carry on and try and get the ones higher up. But look at that, I roll the fucking car again. And then I've lost so much time now, and I don't even make oh, it to the shit. other ones. Here we go I've literally again. got one checkpoint in there. Bullshit. So again, get back in the Patriot, trigger the mission again. 15 checkpoints in 5 minutes. Fuck me, this shouldn't be that hard. It's the vehicle handling though, that's the problem. It's so quick and easy to just flip over. As you can see there, I barely hit that fucking wall of the staircase. And it just flipped me, and I've got no way of getting back up. And there's nothing more frustrating than just fucking instantly doing a barrel roll and failing on your first fucking attempt. Fucking this fucking trophy. Fuck's sake. Ah, that feels better. Right, where were we? Oh yeah, another issue I have with this trophy is that if you do fail relatively close to where the vehicle spawns, you won't actually get it to appear even though you've just failed. So then you have to run away, going further and further away in order to spawn the damn thing again, wasting even more time. It's even worse when it's at night and it's raining, like you can see here, because every time you fail the mission and restart, the clock advances, so most of the time you're going to be doing this in the fucking dark. Again, we failed, we're back in, but this is impossible at this point, there must be an easier way. And it's then when I decided to look online, and I realised that there was a cheat code for this, to give you better grip and handling with the cars. So you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to put this code in and see how much easier it is now. Okay. Cheat activated. Let's go. I'm going to fucking beat this motherfucker. Alright. Let's begin the mission. And you know what? It's a fucking piece of cake now. The vehicle literally gets glued to the ground. And it's just so much easier to control like this. It makes this mission far much easier. Even when you do fall off the edge, more times than not, the car will just correct itself, allowing you to easily climb up the mountain again. Look at this. I'm literally fucking Spider-Man here. It's crazy. I'm just crawling up the mountain. This shouldn't be possible, but my god, thank you. Thank you, Rockstar putting in a cheat code to make this a lot easier and then I get to another bullshit one I don't know how you would get this without this cheat code because this one's right on the fucking edge and it's such a fucking ball ache to try and get it without falling off again the next few are quite easy to get they're fairly straightforward as you go around the mansion however this one here is awkward to climb up with the cheat is easy but trying to drop down there without this cheat code will result more often than not than you rolling and failing. That's 13 or 15 now. So where's this next one? I can't see it. I need to change... Oh no. Triangle isn't change camera. For fuck's sake. I've just failed the fucking mission. I had two left. Motherfucker. Oh, this fucking car. I'm gonna fucking blow the fucking thing up. For fuck's sake. I could have sworn it was triangle. It's the fucking touchpad. Okay. Let's fucking do it again then. At least it's daytime now and I can actually fucking see what I'm doing for a change. Fuck me, the cheat code's still in, so it should be fairly easy. Wasn't that just I just need to be careful on that last one. Next week. So then, I'll go in and I make short work of them. Slowly but surely, grabbing them all and getting back to where I was. Thankfully, the cheat allows you to roll and it usually corrects you, so even if you do roll out, more chances than not you're going to turn up the other way to be the right way around. Okay, so this one here is all of a ball lake, right on the edge of the rock, and you've got to slowly go down, making sure you don't go too fast so you fall off the edge and into the water. I mean, fuck me, my nerves at this point are just ridiculous, because I know I'm right at the end now. Luckily, I managed to get it thanks to this cheek to give me a better grip, and it's here where I think I've got it, but then things go wrong. Oh my... God, they went wrong. Shit. No. No, 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 no. Come on, please. Don't do this to me now. I had one left. Please land up straight. Don't be on the roof. Please turn. Turn again, please. Come on, you can do it. Please. Please, that's it. Stop, stop, stop. Yes. 
Fuck yes, I made it. Okay, let's get this last one. It should just be up this fucking hill here. Come on, spider car. You can do it. I'm there. That's it. I can see it. I can see it. Yes! Thank God. Oh, mission passed. Thank fuck for that. What a bullshit trophy this is. Oh, wait. But hang on. What was I saying at the start of this? Patriot Playground, a ride in the park, multi-story mayhem, and the gripped missions. Oh, fucking crap baskets. There's at least another fucking three missions left yet, isn't there? Fuck's sake. Oh my god, man. Fuck me. Patriot Playground was just the first one. There's another a fucking ride in the park, multi-story mayhem. Oh, and gripped mission to do yet? Fuck me. And you know what? All those missions are just as annoying as this one. But I think Patriot Playground by far is the most bullshit. They all definitely need the cheat code. And the one on the third island is quite tough. <sighs> Which is why the Where Are We Going We Don't Need Roads trophy in Grand Theft Auto 3 on the PS4 gets a bullshit trophy rating of... Bullshit. 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 You